everybody, this is our week one video for our Miley and Jack litter. Um, I've got the nine puppies here. We've got six girls and three boys. Um, our boys are black, brown, and blue, and the rest are girls. So girls rule in this litter for sure. Um, Miley is doing great. She's an excellent mom. <laughs> she has got plenty of milk. All of these puppies came in just under a pound. Um, all of them are over a pound, gaining weight daily. We, gain, we, we weigh them every day um, and everyone is progressing nicely. Um, week one, week two, week three, there's really not a lot to see. Um, so these videos are kind of boring at first. Uh, I promise you by about week four, their personalities really start to come out and week five on, it is fun because you get to see them interacting with each other. Um, with me, I won't be able to stand in here without my shoes being untied here in a couple weeks. So right now, this is the calm before the storm because in the videos to come, it is fun, it is chaotic, they're all over the place, but uh, it's, it's good time. So bear with me these first couple weeks on these videos because they're, they're not a lot to see because all they do is eat and sleep. This is it. Um, we don't have Miley in for the videos. I typically don't have the moms in for the videos because they would be, Miley would be right here and you would not be able to see anything. So you guys are here to see the puppies. So that's what we've got. Um, their date of birth was June the 8th. So our going home date is August the 3rd, which is on a Tuesday. Um, they will be able to go home that weekend before so that, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday before, um, We'll go ahead this next week, start working on our, our picking up or getting them delivered to you guys. Or if you need somebody to fly with them to your home, we, we offer that too. So um, we'll start working on that because it will be here before we know it. Um, if they're staying for training, obviously they'll stay the four weeks after August the 3rd. So um, you won't have to worry about that right now. You guys all should have got an email from me and also from TLC regarding the food that we feed. We feed the TLC whole life puppy. Um, I love that food. It is great. We feed the adult life stages to all of our dogs. Um, once they hit about six, eight months, then we transition them into the, the life stages. It just depends on how fast they're growing. Because with a large breed, you don't want them to grow too quick. So. I'll go over all that information with you guys, but I did want to. I did want to go ahead and send that out. The good thing about TLC is you can go ahead and order your food um, and put the date that your puppy's coming home. They will hold it and ship it right out to you right before they get there, so your food is fresh. You don't. That's one less thing you have to worry about. If you didn't get an email, let me know and I'll make sure you get one. Um, our weekly videos are gonna. Oh, look at y'all lining up nicely for me. <laughs> Um, our weekly videos are going to be posted probably on Monday every week. Um, after our week six video, that's when our picking process starts. So once the week six video is posted, we'll start with our first pick male, first pick female, and then we'll work our way down. I'll keep you guys um, up to date with which ones were picked. Um, obviously, uh, Miss Orange is making a little bed out of her siblings, and that didn't go so swell. That didn't go so swell, did it? Um, supplies. I know you guys are going to have a lot of questions about what do I need, what should I get. I promise you I will share all that with you on the blog. You will be more than ready by the time your puppy goes home. Uh, we went to the vet this past was it, Friday and um, the dew claws were removed so no more dew claws. Vet said they look great, everyone was healthy, so we're right on track. Um, at week two, four, and six we will go for our dewormer and week six we will get our shots we will get microchips obviously i will go over all that with you once we get closer to that as well we'll start our crate training um, at six weeks old so hopefully by the time your puppy comes home at eight weeks you don't have to go through the the screaming crying crate at night because i will tell you these puppies got some strong lungs so we try to go ahead and get them used to their crates also start teaching them to hold it and not just go to the bathroom freely wherever they want to. So um, we try to do a lot of that hard stuff for you guys up front. Um, our socialization process, process has started. We are getting them used to being handled, um, getting them used to being flipped over, 
their eyes are not open yet so um you know really can't really do anything with that until you know they're they're two weeks or so by next week's video their eyes will be open you guys will see that they'll be they'll be squinting but each week what i'll do is i'm going to pick up each puppy go over their weight and i'll go over uh, what we see with their personalities week one two and into three there's not a whole lot um but I do go over the weight and what we see. So what we'll do is I'm just going to start with the girls and go through them and then we'll lead right into the boys. Um, I'm going to go in the order I've got them on my, my board so that I don't, I don't get them mixed up. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss White. I got to get Miss Purple. All right, guys. So this is Miss Purple. Miss Purple is 1.32 pounds. Oh my goodness, see your eyes are not open yet. She's got a pretty light colored coat. Oh, hey pretty girl. So what we do is we'll get them used to being flipped over. And the goal is by the time that they're a couple weeks old that they completely relax when we do this. Oh, I know. She's getting there. You can see that her pigment's starting to come in. Her paw pads have turned black. Uh, they're born with pink noses. Their paw pads are pink. Oh, are you sleepy? So their pigment's coming in nicely. Here's your tongue. He's a good yawn. So this is Miss Purple. All right, next we've got Miss Gray. Miss Gray is 1.3 pounds, so we don't have a runt. They're all very close in size. You'll see that as I go over it. Um, but this is Miss Gray. 1.3. And I believe she is our, I'm gonna check my board over here. Yep, she's tied for our smallest girl. So um, not a huge difference in them size wise. All right, next we've got Miss White. Miss White is 1.46 pounds. Look at that tongue. Okay. Okay. Miss White, 1.46. Um, hello? Oh, where are we, Miss Yellow? Okay, this is Miss Yellow. Miss Yellow is 1.52. There we go. Miss Yellow is tied for our biggest girl and our biggest puppy. So she weighs more than her brothers. Yes. So this is Miss Yellow, big mama. Well, you're all over here, buddy. Okay, Miss Orange. Miss Orange. Miss Orange was the one that was trying to make a bed out of all of her siblings earlier. Uh, Miss Orange is 1.3 pounds, so she is tied um, for the small, small girl. Not the smallest. We have one of the males that's just a little bit smaller, but not much. So this is Miss Orange. And it's amazing how fast these guys grow. I mean, you see them in my hands right now. And by the time they're eight weeks old, I'll be holding them over here. So it's, it's crazy. Just how fast they grow, it's it's so interesting to watch. But this is Miss Orange. Miss Green, who is also tied for with Big Mama. Um, she is 1.52, so she's tied with Miss Yellow. They are the big girls on, on campus and, and the Miley Jack litter for sure. Look at you, Tom. Who is a good yawn. Her pigment's coming in very nice. That's Miss Green. All right, and for our boys, for our biggest boy is Mr. Black. Mr. Black is 1.44 pounds, so he is not as big as the two girls that we have, but they're all very similar, so I think they're gonna go back and forth in our size. So this is Mr. Black. You can hear Miley does not like when we take the puppies away. So um, 
as her as her barking at me. So we'll, we'll get them back soon. But this is Mr. Black, our biggest boy, 1.44. Next in size is Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue is 1.38, so not far, not far apart at all. I think they'll all go back and forth on who's the biggest. I don't know, Mr. Black may stay the biggest boy. It's hard to tell right now, but this is Mr. Blue. Last, but definitely not least, is our smallest puppy. Smallest male, smallest puppy of all is Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown is 1.28. So there's really not a, a true runt or anything. They're all so close in size. Um, he has definitely gained a lot. Your tongue's out too. Are you, are you hungry? Oh, sleepy. That's all you do is eat and sleep. Oh boy. So this is Mr. Brown. Try to get my get my shadow off of him. All right, guys. Like I said, these first couple weeks, it's just not a lot to see. This is all they do. Um, I'll be go over, going over more information with you each week. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call, shoot me an email, shoot me a text. I don't mind answering them one bit. Feel free to share this videos with your family and friends if they want to watch the whole process. And um, it's uh, it's really fun. It's really interesting to see how much they change over these these next couple weeks. But uh, we will see you guys back here next week for our week two video.